touch gloves now, back to your corners. Good luck. Six three minute rounds in the Super Bantamweight division. Australia versus the Philippines. Jason Maloney against Jeffrey Francisco. The Super Bantamweights. 55.54 kilos, 122 pound or eight stone ten. Little fellas, if you like. Three rounds. The Filipino Francisco comes to us with a 14 1 and 1 record. He's in the I Can't Miss You Green. Jason Maloney. The white and the silver Maloney red hot favourite. His brother did his thing a little earlier tonight. And it was a first round K over over one of Francisco's countrymen, Marquil Salvana. Well, Maloney here has got some impressive stats when it comes to punch power. 100% knockout record. I think Gennari Golovkin will be proud of that. Yep. Oh, going to the body, changing levels nicely, did Francisco. That was interesting. Good punches, good combinations. He's 9-1 and one in his last 10 fights, Francisco. Ripping into the body here. I think that's a good strategy for someone that's quite a light puncher. Just work the body because you can penetrate that much easier. Eight fights, eight wins, eight knockouts for Jason Maloney. Dominating that center ring position. Goes to the body on the turn there. Yeah, he's dominating everything. He throws a good jab, good hook, good right hand. He's, um, even with his stature, you can just see he's a good strong puncher. The Twins featured regularly big-time boxing promotions down here in Victoria. Nice jab initially there from Maloney before the counter came from Francisco. Yeah, he did a nice little right hand on the inside. Sometimes when you're looking for them big punches, you can't get countered, so... Good advice from the corner to go to the body, and it looked like it hurt. Really hurt Francisco. You can see the, the, the wince, pain in the eyes, the, the wince. wince. Yeah. yeah, it could have been a solar plexus punch or something. Something Danny Green over the years has been superb at, doubling up that long left jab right into the hold. chest, right at the Stop. sternum. Stop. Yeah, keeping it long and then. He is making way for the right hand that's never too far behind. There's a body Great shot body from shot. Maloney. Great body shot. Francisco took it really well, surprisingly. Francisco wants a fight. He's tapping his wrist and doing the old Pacquiao and saying, come on, let's go. We move into our first break. Jason Maloney. Under the tutelage of Brian Butler from the East End Boxing Facility down here in Croydon. Okay. I don't want you to try too hard for that right hand. If you want to get that right hand, move that jab up and down. Jab to the body because he's throwing that jab and he's slowly starting to drop it down. So you get a chance for that right hand. So jab up top, jab down, says in the right hand. I would rather you hook and rip off that off that jab and then bring him on to the right hand. Don't go hunting for it, okay? Oh, that's all. Everything else is nice. All right. Everything else is nice, okay? Stick work with the jab. Second down. Second down. Seconds down, round number two coming your way on main event boxing. Box, round two. Andrew Maloney in the white and the silver, grey, and in the green is Jeffrey Francisco. The tsunami representing and proudly so far the Philippines. Love the instructions from the old school of Brian Butler. At the end of the round. Get the body moving, get the hands going. Make it fluent and that's why you'll win and when you'll win. Absolutely, you've got to stop thinking about the knockout really for the knockout to come in for the most part. 
And Francisco, you know, he's, he's a good boxer. He's got yeah. some good skill. He's countering well. He's absorbing them shots and he's um, catching them short little shots on the inside. Or oh, returning them, should I say. I mean, Maloney um, is by far the stronger puncher, you can see, but Francisco is certainly making a very good account of himself. It's a different perspective, isn't it? Trainers view, we're behind Brian Butler here in the yeah. corner of young Jason Maloney. And uh, it is very limited what you can see from the corner. True. Three bodies in the way, potentially, of everything that you do want to see. Mm. Not sport like you know, when you're sitting on the lounge or at the local pub watching the fight. You get multiple angles and replays. The disadvantage of listening to you and me dribble for a couple Stop. of hours. <laughs> I'd call that an advantage, Andy. Come on. <laughs> Middle minute around number two here. There was some popular betting that this wouldn't last into the second round. And if I was tonight, yeah, if I was a gambler, I would have been one of those guys that lost my money because I'm um, on paper. It seemed like a foregone conclusion. Well, Maloney is trying to just collect himself in the centre of the ring. He's trying to get um, Francisco to a position where he's going to stand still and just absorb them big, strong punches. And Francisco's objective is clearly the opposite. He's holding him well on the inside. He's countering. He's just keeping him at bay and keeping him thinking. It's a good fight. Debuted at the Melbourne Pavilion on August 15, 2014. Did Jason Maloney with a round one KO. What a knockout it was. And he has continued that theme throughout the eight professional fights of his career thus far. Quick nice firing right then, yeah. Bell sounds, we're going to move into round number three, but first, some instructions from the two corners. Hold we hit him with Brian Butler and Jason Maloney. Don't try so hard for that right hand. He's countering you with that left hook when you're missing a car. Sponge on the back of his neck and be good. Okay, listen. I want you to keep jabbing up and down, okay? You stop doing it. Every time you did it, you landed. You'll find that right hand when he's retracting the jab, all right? But don't go hunting for it. Because you're leaving yourself off balance and he's catching you. He caught you with a couple of hooks, all right? Don't want to see that happening, okay? Jab up. Four of the AFL jab up top, jab here, down. Jack Rewald. The Richmond out. boy. In the house and enjoying. I hope you're enjoying wherever you may be watching live on Main Event Box. Boxing. Whether you're at home or at your local. Round number three between Maloney and Francisco. Referee is Alan McCall. He's had very little work again to do in this one. Thankfully, boys have sort of their own issues out centering it's been very clean yeah it has it's been a very clean fight good two-way action as well not afraid to throw a shot or two is he uh, jason maloney both of them but francisco is growing Pick in confidence yeah. but maloney I, I believe is, is doing the better work landing the harder punches yep. but francisco is certainly staying in there and trying to just you know re re return some of them big shots yeah, he hasn't come over here, it seems, and is intimidated by the reputation or the professional record of Jason Maloney. He Absolutely doesn't feel not. that he's come here as an opponent only. Absolutely not. He's actually growing in confidence. He's, he's fighting far more confidently. Um, he's taken... Oh! oh big right hand. And he's upset with himself. And he's Four, got a smile on his face, five, the little fella. Six, seven, eight... 53 and a half kilos of Filipino oh. anger coming at Jason Maloney now. Absolutely. Oh, and they are big shots from both boys. Middle stage is the third round, and he's calling Maloney on. 
Man, I'll be a good thing to do because he's, um, he's um, responding. Yeah. Hey, pick your fight. Yeah, absolutely. Oh. Quite a shot. And he took it well. Yeah, Francisco says it didn't hurt. Keep going. Maloney says not a problem. I think he better put his guard up. I think he started sledging as Jeffrey Francisco, but the problem is he's sledging he's... in Filipino. <laughs> yeah, no one understands him. No. But I tell you what, he's oh. taken some monstrous shots. Hasn't he? Oh, a little tag there, a nice left hook from Maloney. Four punch combination. Caught the left hook with the third. Jeez, Maloney must be getting sick of hitting him. And Francisco is giving the whole facial expressions. <laughs> He's almost doing a running commentary of his own on the fight. You get a read of what's happening by the facial expressions on Jeffrey Francisco. This is a very entertaining fight, and um, Francisco doesn't seem to have any bruising or anything. So. Eddie, nice and close, looking to finish off on the inside. Francisco down in the round, and Maloney thinking, what do I have to hit this kid with to stop him? Has had eight fights, but just 27 rounds. And make that 19 completed rounds only. Beautiful right hand there. Beautiful right hand. Also a nice uppercut landed, and Maloney was just pushing, 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 going for the kill after he put, knocked him down, but... There's the, there's the knockdown from another angle, yes, and Francisco's really upset with himself. But it looks like a bit of a glutton for punishment, a bit of a sadist. Okay, beautiful. All right, set it up, it's that short right hand, okay? And get out of harm's way, don't throw it long. All right, see if you can come back with the left uppercut after the next one, he'll get him, okay? Right, pace yourself. Up the back of the arena, watching Everything going on before them. Members of Team Green. Oh. Our focus very firmly on Jeffrey Francisco, Jason Maloney in the Super Bantamweight Division. Six three minute rounds. We are into the fourth. And these guys are moving well. I mean, these first three rounds have flown. The shots that Maloney's been landing could, took, could have took several of them down, but um, Francisco's here. Not here for the payday. It's here to actually try and win. To fight and win. Tries to go over the top of the left shoulder and the left glove of Jason Maloney. Maloney saw that coming. He defends exceptionally well. Not only has he got genuine power for a super bantamweight, his defense stemming from a quality amateur career is on point as well. It's the short right hand he's looking for. Great instructions um, from his corner in the break. Right. Step back clean. Short right Step hand's back only going to come with a really subtle change of angle, isn't it? Yeah. But Tried he just set it up there. Yeah, he did. That left hook. But even though Maloney is winning comfortably and landing big shots, I love the way he goes back to the jab every time and just sets it up. That probably comes from his long amateur pedigree. Yeah, 71 odd fights as an amateur and amazingly lost his first five he was 0-5 to start his career then he wow. went on an amazing run a three-time australian champion in 07 08 and 2010 an oceana champion in 2010 and made his professional debut just on two years ago it's only a baby at 25 years of age good right hand The nickname the smooth one, I think you can see why. Mm. Oh, for a big, big shot, yeah. yeah. big, big shot. Eventually, it takes its toll, doesn't it? Yeah, he's just body trying shots. to break him down. Exactly. He's utilizing them body shots just to break him down, bring his hands down, weaken his legs before he lands them big right hooks to drop him to the floor again. There you go, he's looking for that right hook. And Maloney's landing it. Oh. 
left hook to start proceedings there for Jeffrey Francisco. Low percentage combination opener. Nice body shots. They've got to hurt in the morning. They have got to hurt. Right hand from Maloney, but Francisco. And a brown ball. More than still just in this. Maloney dominating, no doubt, but he's up against a very brave and a very tough opponent here tonight. Once you go back to jabbing him to the body. And also, when he, if you want to get that long right hand on, you want to get that straight right hand on the peach. What you got to do is right. He's 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 throwing his jab and he's dropping a hand. So catch right hand. One of the old things we worked on. Catch him right hand, okay? All right. Catch him right hand. Also jab to the body and shoot the right hand. All right. Now this fight is surprisingly competitive. I mean, even though obviously Maloney, as you can see, is throwing the bigger shots, landing the shots, working on the inside. Francisco is always, he's in the fight, he's returning punches, he's keeping it competitive. Maloney is looking for them big shots. Give the, give the floor a bit of a light when you're out of the ring, hurry. Uh, Jonathan Brown, formerly of the Lions, of course now, one of the crew on Fox Footy. And you can follow on Fox Footy, the run of each team each week into the finals, all the way through to the big one. As you can on Fox Sports is the business end of the NRL season. Fast oh, approaches, nice good right. right. Yeah, yeah. Nice right okay. uppercut. Counter movement very strong from Jason Maloney. Changing levels, body head. Gee, there's some theories about tonight on the floor here at high sense arena of exactly how this main event is going to go how is kane what's going to start is he going to come out and just try and land bombs from the outset is he going to get comfortable what's danny green's mindset what's his game plan it'll be interesting to see so i think francisco is surprising everybody here He's boxing, he's taking the punches, he's absorbing them. He's got no bruising. And though he's behind by, I think, a mile, Andy, yeah. he's, he's, he's in the fight, isn't he? Absolutely. He's, he's countering, he's just making it uncomfortable for Maloney. You'd suggest behind by five at the moment. Yep. Uh, four, three 10-9 rounds and a 10-8 round because sure. of the drop. For sure. But he's just, he's, he's being made to work. Yeah. He's being made to work. Good right hand from Jeffrey there. I mean, the difference is that um, Francisco has looked in trouble, but uh, Maloney's never looked in trouble, has he? No. Even though he's taken a couple, couple of sucker punches on the inside, he's never looked in any danger. He's won four straight since November of 2014, has Jeffrey Francisco. Mm. Lost an eight-round decision, has only been stopped. In fact, has only been... Only lost one, hasn't been stopped. And what we've seen tonight... Pretty good illustration of just why he hasn't been stopped. Yeah, you grab a sledgehammer and it wouldn't hurt him. Yeah, he's taken some monstrous punches, head and body, and just on, pulled the face and carried on. That's it. And I think um, when it comes to Francisco, he's in a race against time, isn't he? Just trying to put him away. Final 30 seconds, round number five. Rank number one at Super Bantamweight in the ANBF, Australian National Boxing Federation, has just broken the top 100 on BoxRec, which is a complicated equation combining every organisation. No political interests. Coming up with ranking system, nothing perfect. We've just broken the top 100 in that, which is uh, considering just eight fights quite an achievement Sorry, Mike. No, good round. No. 
want to see you jamming that body a little bit more. The last round, he's gonna he's gonna hang in there, mate. All right. So don't go looking for that knockout. All right. Get the monkey off your back anyway. All right. Okay. I want you to box him. Okay. Be smart. All nice right. big shots coming in there. Let's go back to that chopping right hand. But Maloney, I want you to look for that Francisco one up the is, afterwards. He's okay? in the fight. Squeeze he's throwing the counters. He's pulling the faces. He's okay. just making Maloney nice. uncomfortable and making him work, which won't hurt Second Maloney. Now. Come on, second jump. Six. And final round. It is the sixth and the final round. Uh, we're not going to tap them up. We're going to hug it out before we launch into each other for three solid minutes of super bantamweight action. It's been a high-quality contest for the last 15. I don't see any reason to think this last three would be any different. Well, there's got to be some respect from Malone. I mean, he's hit this guy with everything, and he's hit him very clean. And this guy's just standing there. So, yeah, nice two-shot combination nice. Maloney. Nah. In a strange turn of events, Francisco seems to have taken the centre of the ring here and is throwing some leather. Right, step back, clean. Confidence will be sky high even though yeah. he's behind. Unofficially, of course. But a Maloney just figuring out a way to actually knock this guy out and takes a bit of a left up there on the inside. James Maloney, as we said earlier, eight fights, eight wins, eight knockouts. I know his trainer and mentor, Brian Butler, the last round break said, control, he's going to hang in there. You know Jason Maloney, like any professional boxer, yep. he's going to want to be nine fights, nine wins, nine knockouts. Absolutely, but these are the types of fights that teach you how to yeah. get in, how to get through them rugged fights in the future. I mean, this particular fight may be, you know, uh, the predecessor to something that he's really going to learn from in the future. Because he's hitting with everything and he's managed to stay composed and, and stick out there and keep throwing them hard punches. And this is the fight he needs. It's a good fight for him. He's pushing forward here, Maloney. Over 60 seconds remaining in the round. Still pushing forward, but a bit more composed Maloney here in this round, funnily enough. Next up, we get a look at Cesar Ramon Sonop against Argentinian Christian Ariel Lopez. One of our dual co-main events, James Langston from New Zealand, Mark Flanagan up. Following that, before we enter into main event territory with Danny Green and Kane Watts. More immediately though, it is Jason Maloney on the front combination punches. Jeffrey Francisco from the Philippines. Great. Oh. He ate Go some on. big shots there. Oh. Final three seconds. What is it going to take to knock this guy down? For, um, Malone is thinking. Ah. Ah. Nice Wild counter. swinging left hook there it was from a, Maloney. It was a nice counter. I <laughs> see what he was trying to do. Last 10 seconds, we are going the distance. Maloney would have loved to stop out the stoppage here and knock out. It is not to be. He drops him once, couldn't drop him again. And more hugs from Jeffrey Francisco. Good performance from young Jason Maloney. On the pre-show, we saw his brother, Andrew, Hi, well done. Well done. a little well, earlier. So are you. Andrew also came into tonight, eight fights, eight wins. There is, there is. What to be proud of, this young fella is performance of beauty. Jeffrey Francisco, as we take a look at some of the highlights from the sixth and final round. Straight right hand there from Maloney, but it was set up beautifully by that leading left jab that he uses so effectively, so often. The lighter weight divisions, it's about combination punches, punching in bunches. He puts the combos together very nicely. This young fella, we're calling our ringside judges into this one. Andrew Campbell, Jeffrey Eddy, and 
Wayne Ashdown to determine. I don't think they'll be determining the winner with any real surprise. It'll be by how much that may catch us by surprise, perhaps. Bodies for centering, please. And the boys' head centering. They are both all smiles. And it is time to make it official with Perry. Ladies, Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, after six rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecard. It is a unanimous decision. Andrew Campbell had it 59-54. Jeff Eddy had it 60-53. And Wayne Ashdown had it 59-54 for your winner. And still undefeated, Jason Maloney. So not a complete shutout. Uh, 259.54s and a 60.53 on the 10 points must system award.